let me just remind everybody that this is a kid's game. You can get through the whole thing pretty easily without much help from anybody. So it's already a very easy game. Of course, it can get hard if you make it hard, but if you don't want to make it hard, I, this is already off to a bad start. You have the option of buying the game with an accessory that allows you to keep playing the game when you otherwise normally would have to stop. So what does the Pokeball Plus do exactly? How does it change the game? And is it really worth that $50 price tag? I wasn't really expecting to like this thing as much as I do. It's pretty pricey, but the build quality is solid and it's packed with way more features than it looks like on the surface. It's also a legit motion controller for your Switch. It's actually the easiest controller, if not the easiest Bluetooth device that I have ever paired. Despite the fact that it has no instructions, the instruction book has a whole lot of words, but this little tiny line in the middle of all of these words says, follow the on-screen instructions. When you boot up Pokemon Let's Go, a screen comes up with instructions that just say, press a button on the controller that you want to use. I have never been able to take a wireless device out of the box and have it just work. You literally just press either of the two buttons while this screen is up and it syncs automatically. Yeah, it might not look like it, but there's actually two buttons on the Pokeball Plus. Yeah, there's the control stick, but there's also the middle click, which acts as the select or action button. This is how you navigate 90% of the menus. There's also a somewhat hidden button at the top. This is your back button. It's a little confusing that the on-screen menu controls don't change when you're using the Pokeball Plus. Middle click acts as A, the top button is B, and shaking the controller is Y. Oh. This is pretty important to some of the menus and it's not clearly specified anywhere. Everything else you can find in drop down menus. It's also slightly annoying that this thing doesn't have a home button. In order to put the console to sleep, you have to pick up a Joy-Con. This is the only time in the game where I think using a Pro Controller might make sense because some people just have a Pro Controller leg in front of them, but it won't even connect, so it doesn't even work. That's why you got this thing, right? You got it to navigate the menus? Nah, you got it for the Mew, the free Mew that's in there. Once you connect your Pokeball Plus, you can head on over to the Communicate section and then claim your mystery gift. It's only level one and only knows the moves Pound and Swift. And Mew barely learns any moves from leveling up but he can learn any TM. So now you finally have a reason to pay attention to all of the TMs that you're getting. And since experience share is on by default from the very beginning of the game, it's super easy to level up all of the Pokemon in your party. It only took a few battles for Mew to get caught up with the rest of the team. For real though, you're probably wondering how the motion controls work on this thing. And they work exactly the same as they do on the Joy-Con. The Pokeball Plus is a little tinier than I'd like, and it's easy for it to lose orientation since it's just a smooth, symmetrical ball. Sometimes it rotates in my hand without me realizing it and I end up walking the wrong way because the control stick's pointing the wrong way. They should have put a little bump at the top as an indicator to let you know what orientation it's at. Similar to how keyboards have bumps on the K and was it J keys? Catching Pokemon isn't any easier with this thing. It feels a little bit cooler because it's an actual Pokeball, but Otherwise, it's exactly the same as the Joy-Con. And I already talked about how it feels with the Joy-Con in a video over here, if you want a more in-depth analysis about that. If you don't want to watch that video, the summary is that the motion controls are fine. They're just fine. And those are probably the most advertised features of the Pokeball Plus, but those aren't the reasons why this thing makes Pokemon Let's Go so much easier. The reason this thing makes Pokemon Let's Go so much easier is that you can take your Pokemon for a stroll. Just like with the Pokemon Go Plus, you can gain XP just by walking around with your Pokemon in the real world. Simply go to the save menu, make sure you have your game saved first, then take whatever Pokemon you want out. Interestingly, you can still use that Pokemon in the game while it's in your Pokeball. But now you can take your Pokemon of choice with you and the Pokeball Plus will track every step you take. You could also play with your Pokemon while it's in the ball by holding down the joystick and flicking it around. It's like a Tamagotchi. You don't have to just put your partner Pokemon in there. It doesn't have to be either Pikachu or Eevee. It could be any Pokemon. It's just that Pikachu and Eevee are actually voice acted and the rest are just kind of random sounds. To mute, you just press both buttons at the same time once. 
and you'll feel a short vibrate and to unmute, you do the same thing and you'll feel two vibrations. When you come back and you reconnect your Pokeball with Let's Go and tell the game that you're back from your stroll, you will level up like crazy. It's effortless. Whoa. Holy sh All he did was go to Walmart. What's interesting is that your Pokemon from a Let's Go will gain experience even after you connect your Pokeball Plus with the Go app. So now you can be gaining XP in two different games at the same time. Once connected to the app, it now acts just like the Pokemon Go Plus wristband. That means it will automatically swipe Pokestops that you pass by, and it will flash when a Pokemon is nearby. You have the option to throw your Pokeball at the nearby Pokemon by just pressing the top button. The light will flash to indicate if you've caught it or not. It could be a little confusing if you do what I did and start off in a very busy area with Pokestops and Pokemon everywhere. The thing will just vibrate nonstop and flash all sorts of colors and won't make any sense. Just know that blue means you're by a Pokestop. Whatever follows will indicate if you got the items from it or not. Rainbow colors means you got them. Red means your inventory is full. If your Pokeball flashes green, there's a Pokemon in range. Press the top button to throw a Pokeball at it. It will flash white to show that the ball's shaking. Red means it got out, but if it turns green again, then you have another chance to catch it. Rainbow means you have successfully caught it. Don't worry, while all this is happening, your phone is also blowing up with notifications to let you know exactly what's going on. But this is Pokemon Go that we're talking about. It takes a few extra steps to connect the Pokeball Plus, which isn't too bad. Just make sure that the Pokeball icon in your app has these signal bars next to it, or else you're gonna wanna reconnect the Pokeball Plus. And make sure that Pokemon Go is running in the background the whole time that you're playing, or else you're not gonna catch anything, and you might have to reconnect the Pokeball Plus again. Also, when you're back home and you wanna play Pokemon Let's Go again, make sure that you either disconnect the Pokeball Plus from the app, close the app entirely, or disconnect from Bluetooth. Otherwise, the transition is seamless. If you don't play Pokemon Go and you're thinking of picking up the Pokeball Plus just for Pokemon Let's Go, you might wanna consider getting into Pokemon Go because later on in the game, you'll be able to transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Let's Go. That means that you'll be twice as likely to capture that Pokemon that you want and you'll be able to keep playing the game even when you're away from your Switch out in the real world. It also works while you're driving if you're in an area with a lot of stop and go traffic or a lot of red lights, that way you're not going too fast. Not that I would know anything about that. Super cool, all you have to do is press stop when you feel vibrate. You said that? Did you say that? Overall, I'm really impressed with this thing. It might seem expensive, but it's a full-fledged controller with Bluetooth, vibrations, and motion controls. It makes your experience that much more immersive. It feels like a living part of the Pokemon world. And yes, it gives you a leg up over people who might not use one in their game, but for some reason it doesn't feel pay to win. I guess that's because it's legitimately fun to use. That's a feeling that I might not be able to explain because in the end, these are just imaginary digital creatures that don't add anything extra to my life. But then why does it feel so goddamn good to collect them and level them up and pet them? Just look at it! So what do you guys think about the Pokeball? Plus, is it something that you were previously interested in? Is it something that you already got? What is it that intrigues you the most about this thing? Leave in the comments below, add me on Twitter. All this other social media garbage. I already have a really hard time reminding myself to play Pokemon Go when I actually leave the house. Maybe now that I don't have to look at my phone, this will make me play Pokemon Go a lot more or make me want to play it a lot more. I know that I'm excited now to go out on Black Friday, not to buy anything, but just to walk around with my Pikachu in my pocket. No, my Mew, I'm gonna put my Mew in there. He's gonna be swole as hell and he's gonna pound the f out of people. Anyway, we got new videos and live streams all the time. We've been uploading every day for the last like week. Live streams here on youtube.com slash wolfden, also on twitch.tv slash wolfden. And I'm gonna be playing a whole lot of Let's Go, you bet your ass I will. Also, AJ's got a video about how Pokemon Let's Go is basically Pokemon Yellow New Game Plus, and in this video, I'll link it when it goes up. But guys, if you're not subscribed, you would never have known that we dropped all of our apparel, the winter slash fall line. You probably don't even notice I'm wearing it right now. This flannel is, is a wolfden flannel. Look at that guy, look at it. It's got a little thing down here too. Don't, 
don't look, don't look here. Look here. Look here. Don't look. Here. Anyway, it's all on sale for the first week that it's up because Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So get your ass over there. We got shirts that are over there as low as 16 bucks. So we got something for everybody. But of course, the most important things that you can do and the easiest thing that you can do to help support our channel is just to subscribe to it. That's all you need. So you get updates and you know everything that's going on. And share this video with a friend, a friend that you want to take your Let's Go experience out into the real world with and play some Go with them. Thank you guys very much. I love you, my